Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the quiz that tests not just knowledge but, more importantly, lateral thinking. That ability to switch lanes suddenly in the middle of a mental journey without ploughing into a milk float and scattering yoghurt all over the tarmac of logic. We're entering the quarterfinal stages, which means not just that things get tougher, but that it isn't a problem for the teams because they're fresh from victory in their heats. Let's meet those triumphant returning visitors. We are joined tonight by the county councillors and the science writers. Let's say hello first to the captain of the county councillors. I'm Gareth Aubrey. I'm a councillor for the Landaff Award in the great city of Cardiff. With me today are Gwilym. I'm Gwilym Owen. I'm uh, a prospective councillor in, here in Cardiff. And John. I'm John Dixon. I'm a county councillor in Adamsdown in Cardiff and I'm in charge of social services. Now, you may be feeling comfortable after your earlier victory, but it's the quarterfinals. Things will be stricter, they'll be tougher and I certainly will be nastier. Mm. Are you comfortable in that environment or, or dreading it? Mm. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to show any fear with another team ten feet away over there. Yeah. Well, good luck tonight. Let's go and meet the opponents you'll be facing, saying hello to the captain of the Science Writers. I'm Chrissy, a science writer originally from Kent, now living in Surrey. Uh, this is Pete. Pete, I'm also a science writer and editor, and I live in Leighton in East London. And this is Aaron. I'm Aaron. I'm a science writer originally from the Isle of Wight. And how have you been preparing for the quarters? Have you been living and breathing Wikipedia? Are you sleeping under copies of Prospect magazine? Pretty much nothing. <laughs> no preparation at all? L lateral preparation. <laughs> <laughs> BBC Four through the night, that's my best tip. Only one of these teams can go through to the semi-finals. Who will it be? Let's kick off with round one. This is where the teams need to tell me the connection between four clues. But the fewer clues they need to see before giving me the correct answer, the more points they'll get. Five, three, two and one are the points available. County councillors, you won the toss, so please select a Greek letter. I think we'll take Zeta, please. Zeta, your first clue is coming up. And I think this is going to be a music round, so you'll be hearing the first clue and shouting next whenever you're ready to hear the next one. Good luck. Your time starts now. Next. When you walk into the room, uh, don't pull on heaven's place on earth. No yeah. idea what connection will be. Uh, next. Songs about heaven or air or the sky. <laughs> no, it's not very, <laughs> not very good. Is it? You collapsed in the middle there. I'm not going to accept that answer. So the opportunity is there for a bonus point for the science writers. Okay, just so songs about heaven. You're both so close. I'm afraid I'm not going to give the points. But Gareth, do you want to tell me what the pieces of music were? Well, the, the obvious one was uh, "Heaven Is a Place on Earth" by the lovely Belinda Carlisle, uh, and there on the G-string string was in there. Of course, the piece that launched a thousand tabloid puns. Do you know its real title? Orchestral mm. Suite Number Three in D. But that doesn't sound so good <laughs> under a photograph of Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> and the other pieces? No. Oh, no, I don't think we had any. No. Handel's Water Music and uh, the Magic uh, Bio Music yeah, from yeah, yeah. Wagner's yeah. Valkyrie. Oh, they are standard, pieces whose title contained the four elements. Close, but no cigar. Yeah. So, science writers. Alpha, please. Alpha, first clue coming up. Time starts now. OK, Next. Curtain. Next. OK. What that is? Do you know what that is no. at all? Oh, What's no, curtain? Idea. Curtain sounds strange. Oh. Um, I don't want next. We'll have to. Next. Are they filmed? Psycho's been remade, hasn't it, recently? Have they all been remade? They've all been remade. Yeah, yeah, been remade. Ten remade. seconds. Like shot by shot? Yeah. Uh, we'll just guess that. Um, we think they're all films that have recently been remade. I'm afraid you're not correct. No. So I'm going to throw it over to the county councillors for a bonus. Are they all things where the protagonist died? Keep Specifically, talking. possibly detectives? That's it. Yes. They are stories in which the detective dies. Can you tell me any more detail? Well, the remorseful day is Morse dies. But the blue lamp, Dixon I was guessing the Dixon had got green. 
quite right. Went. Psycho, obviously. Milton no. Arbogast is no. the name of the detective who dies um, there, and Curtain spells doom for the lovely Inspector Poirot. Ah. One bonus point to you, well done, and you get to choose your own Greek letter. Gamma, please. Gamma, first clue coming up. Time starts now. Next. Not their real names. Yeah, but it's it's but yeah, yeah. Uh, Next. I mean, that was that, I'm not sure that was his name. I can't just assume it's No, I can't. Last one? Yeah. Yep. Next. Um, yeah. Ten seconds. Um, something to do with spines and something. Yeah, but I mean, Casanova wasn't Harper yeah. Marx. We think they're all pseudonyms or names they gave themselves. That is not the right answer. <laughs> so I'm going to throw it over to the science writers for a bonus. Oh, uh, were they all involved in intelligence? What's the other connection? Well, Graham Greene wrote the Ministry That's of That's enough conferring. What's your answer? <laughs> they were all... A... I'm sorry, you've hesitated too long, and it's a tragedy. I did warn you the quarterfinals no. were tough. You practically said it, but didn't give it as an answer. They all worked as spies. Mm. No points there. Science writers, time to select a Greek letter. Epsilon, please. Epsilon, first clue coming up. Time starts now. Next. Uh... We're looking for an actor or something like that. Like a cameo. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh. I Next. haven't seen either of those films then. Oh, bitch. Oh, is it people playing that, themselves? Yeah, that could be could be yeah, because no, Nick well, Nick Call Me might have been in it, I don't know. Um next. Anthony Mikey Forrester. Yeah, it's the author, because um Irvin Welsh was Mikey Forrester so in Train Spotting. So it's the authors of the book. So it's having a cameo, yeah. Um we think it's the authors of the books having cameos. In films. Absolutely correct. I heard you say that Urban Welsh was a guest on Train Spotting. Right. Want to have a go at the others? Um, well, it must be Nick Cornby for Fever Pitch. Um, I don't know who wrote the other two. Um, JG Ballard, Empire of the Sun. And Stephen King wrote Sleepwalkers. Yeah. Right. They are all characters played in films by the authors of the original books. One point to you. County Councillors, your turn. I think we'll have Beta, please. First clue coming up, and I can tell you this is going to be a picture question. Is it really cool? Looks like it. Uh, next. Okay. They might all be things that are extinct or were thought to be extinct. Yes. Uh, next. That's, that's a lace, that's a net cane or something. Yeah. Very strange. No idea. Can I? No. Next. Grace Kelly, is it? Yeah, so she's the obvious one, so... Ten seconds. Nothing. Three seconds. <laughs> Your time is up, so over to the science writers for a possible bonus. Mm, they all come from Wales. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Including Grace Kelly. Yes. Like Princess it's Grace. How Welsh was she? But that's not the answer I'm looking for. No, this is a very tough quarterfinal question. A brace of birds. Oh. That lovely fish, the dace. Oh, Some yeah. lace. Grace, yeah. Grace. And Princess Grace. 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 They all Sorry. rhyme. No <laughs> points there. Science writers, your turn. Delta, please. Delta is the last one. Time starts now. Uh, next. This is going to be embarrassing. Okay. Next. That it. Uh... That's black pepper. Okay. Oh, so they're all going to be condiments of some kind, perhaps. Mm, yeah. Um. No... Oh, one's vinegar. Mm, one's. Acetic acid. So, what is, do we want to say acetic... condiments, or do we want to say next? Uh, if it's black pepper, right, condiments is likely. If one of the, if one of them is vinegar as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I think we've got it. Yeah. Go for yeah. it. They're all condiments. I'll accept it. They are table additives. Last one would have been the symbol for sodium chloride salt. First one there, diluted acetic acid vinegar, table sugar, black pepper and salt. So two points to you. And let's see how that leaves the overall scores at the end of round one. The county councillors have got one point, but the science writers are in the lead with three points. 
on with round two, where I'm still curious what the connections are, but I'll only give points if contestants can tell me what comes fourth in the sequence. County councillors, this time you'll be seeing the first in a sequence. The fewer clues you need to tell me what comes fourth, the more points you get. Pick a Greek letter. I think we'll have Epsilon this time. First clue coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. That's lots of things. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Reception, good reception. Great reception, fantastic reception. <laughs> but I don't know what the third is. Next. <laughs> it's ham radios or dials round, but. <laughs> it's almost, it's power. It makes Ten sense. It's power, how much power you're putting out. Um, I'm going to say. As a completely wild guess, cut power. Wild and wrong. So I'll throw it over for a possible bonus to the science writers. Okay. Uh, repeat. That is not what I'm looking for. They are CB Radio 10 codes. 10 1, 10 2, 10 3, and 10 4 is message received. No points there. Science writers, your own turn to choose a letter. Delta, please. Delta, first in a sequence coming up. I can tell you that this is going to be a picture round. Time starts now. <laughs> Next. Next. OK, they're all Is it the colours? Circles. Uh, Olympic colours, apples. It would be the primary colours, because you've got RGB and then ink, so yellow would be my guess. No, 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 that's not What about not Teletubbies? <laughs> what else could it be? Um, Twister. Twister? Yeah, Twister colours. Is it brown or yellow? No, yellow. It's still it's yellow, isn't it? That seems right. quite random. OK, well, we'll just go for it. Ten seconds. A yellow circle? That is not what I would expect to see, so I'm going to throw it over to the county councillors for a bonus. Yeah. I think we can say a magenta circle. Wouldn't that be lovely? It's not. It's a black circle. They are signs signifying the difficulty of ski, ski courses oh. in Europe, <sighs> starting with the easiest. Come on, councillors, let's see if you can get some points here. Pick a letter. I think we'll take Alpha, please. Alpha, first clue coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Oh, no, Next. Next. Sorry. It's, it, it's a numeric sequence. I'm sure it's a numeric sequence of some sort. Dots. Hmm? Is it dots? Dots. Yes, it is dots. Oh, I don't know which oh, one. Oh, shit. 21, 18. Four. Why would it be four? Sex on a dartboard. They are the numbers running clockwise from 20 on a dartboard. At oh, last, with some yeah. relief, oh. I can give you two points. Over to the science writers to pick a letter. Uh, Zeta, please. Zeta, first coming up. Time starts now. Next. Oh, what's that? Got oh, it. Hang on. You... Oh, no, no, no. What's what, 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 um, oh, the answer is time, T H Y M. Why? It's because it's parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme in French. Okay. Uh, can I nominate Pete, please? <laughs> it's T H Y M. Your fellow teammates, Peter, think that you're a lunatic. But I'm impressed because you are correct. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme from the chorus of Scarborough Fair in French. Three points to you. Well done. And back to the councillors. I think we'll have Gamma. Please. Gamma, first in the sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Anything. Next. Oh, it's the, um, oil and fire. Species. The next one's genus, the next species. Are we right. sure the next one's genus? Well, do, do we, we want the next one to find it? Uh, next. Oh, it's going the other way. Super family. Fire. They want, no, but that's only yeah, a sub. Oh. It's class order family, find them. Find them. Kingdom. 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 Is it kingdom before Kingdom? Is king kingdom, yeah. Kingdom, yeah. Kingdom. That's not the right answer. Science writers? Uh, Phyla? Phylum? No, no. 
It's, it's I'm afraid you've submitted that it's, answer. It's, it's I'm not going to go terrible. easy on you. Both teams went in the wrong direction. You're yeah. right, these are levels of biological taxonomy. But after family, you would see genus <laughs> running in this order. Well, no points up. there. Particularly embarrassing for you there, science writers. <laughs> Let's see if you can redeem yourselves by picking the last letter. Uh, B to B. First in a sequence coming up. Time starts now. Next. Monks or train train station? Uh, no, no, no. It's not, it's not about uh, um, uh, Saint Saint, uh, Saint, 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 Saint Albans. Archbishop. Places where um, I think it's places where Eleanor of Aquitaine was carried. But we can next. take another one. Next. Next. Oh, it's what comes next. Is it market? Oh, yeah. Cheapside is right near town. Isn't it just journey into uh, London? Uh, no, oh, no, uh, no, it's... it's... Quick. Three seconds. Thank you. Say something. Bank. L L Liverpool Street. Well, it's neither of those, so I don't really mind which you submitted. <laughs> I'm going to throw it over to the councillors. Uh, Charing Cross. Why would it be Charing Cross? Because we think it is the possession of Eleanor Ella of Aquitaine and Waltham Cross is one of the crosses and the last cross they got to is Charing Cross. Well, it's, you know, I'm going to give you the points. That's the right answer. Both of you thinking of Eleanor of Aquitaine, wife of Henry II. No, Eleanor of Castile, wife oh, of King Edward yeah. I. She was the one whose death route to London was marked by crosses. And the last was Charing Cross. So, bonus points to you. Let's see how that leaves things at the end of round two. The county councillors have got four points, but the science writers are still ahead with six points. On to round three, the connecting wall. This time, the team see 16 clues which they must sort into four connected groups of four. <laughs> Two grids to choose from, alpha or beta? Uh, alpha, please. OK, the alpha wall is coming up. Your time starts now. OK, uh, nicknames for policemen? Cop, Bill. He had fat uh, OK, Willy Wonka. This is police as well, Sweeney Todd, flying squad. So there might be some... Um... Rostrum means beak, by the way. That's okay. not it. <clears throat> so why don't we try please? Bill. Then? Bill, cops, Sweeney Todd and Force. No. That's no. not a group. No, I think Bill, beak, rostrum and nib. Yeah, That's yeah. a group. OK, and then, so let's try... So quack is a doctor, a hack is a journalist. That's an electrician, spark, spark. shrink, psychologist. So psychologist, yeah. Only two groups left. Remember, three strikes mm -hmm. in your round. Three strikes, right? Okay. Well, loads of time. Well, he's right. fictional. Fictional. He's fictional. Sweet, that sweet. Well, he's he's a writer. He's a. Crimp is something you do to your hair, or a weird way of talking. Rue, he's a chef. Palm, what? top, cop. So we're really not another police one here because we've got the force, cops, the Sweeney Todd. No, okay, it's not that. J. M. Barry, he obviously wrote about Peter Pan. The force. The Sweeney Todd and the cop are all, all police, so... Yeah, I, I just think don't think it might be trying to throw us off. Sweeney Todd is also um, currently rhyming <clears> flying. Halfway through the, the flying squad. As, as might be... Willy Wonka. Yeah, flying squad. Willy Wonka. Wonka. <laughs> Blonka. Um, what about words that follow things, or Rue? What can Rue be? What is Rue? I don't know what it is. Well, it's oh, like oh. a thing you make with flour and butter, or it's a chef. Crimp, Rue, Force, Palm. Palm means taking money, it's a verb. Yeah. A, yeah. Let's just do one, two, three, four. Mm. Nope. Not a group. Just two should attempts should, should, remaining. Should we try this? The, the Cockney Rhyming Slang yeah. one? Willy Wonka, Sweeney Todd. J, J and Barry, must be. Really? OK. And Crimp? Not a group. You've well, got 30 seconds. We've only got one more. One, one, one. It'll be those three and it'll be something else. Why those three? Because they'll be the Rhyming Slang. Crimp, pimp, I don't know. Palm, oh. cop, rue. Maybe cop is um, a, a rhyming slang. Comes yeah, from let's rhyming have a cop slang. of that, yeah, let's have a cop, cop. of that. Try that. Yeah. Cop, Barry, Sweeney Todd, Willy Wonka. That's no. not it, but three strikes and you're out. A flying start, but just two groups. Point for each of those, two points. And you'll get bonus points if you can tell me what connects them. First group. They're all words for beak or things, pointy thing at the end. Mandible is the word yeah. I'd use. A bird's mandible, that's correct. One bonus point. Next group. They're all kind of slang terms for professional professions. That's right. Shrink, quack, spark, hack, more properly known as 
psychologist, doctor, electrician and hard-working, devoted journalist. Mm. So you've got those bonus points. You're on to four. <laughs> Let's resolve the grid. You can still get bonus points if you tell me what connects this group. Sweeney, Todd, <coughs> J.M. Barry, Rue, Willy Wonka. That's all rhyming slang. OK. Yeah. Not rhyming slang. They are all characters who were played by Johnny Depp. Mm. You've got Stuck on Rue. It's a character in Chocolat. And the last group, Force Crimp Palm Cop. Clearly, none of you is. Oh, hair, they're all hairstyles. Not hairstyles? Things you do to hair? Nothing to do with hair. <laughs> I was going to say, none of you is a magician. No. Forced to offer a choice when there's no real choice. Wow. Crimp, squeeze a card to bend it, palm or cop to hide something in your hand. Wow. So at the end of round three, you collect four points. Bit of a disappointment for the science writers after a flying start. Is this a chance for the county councillors to move ahead on points? Let's bring them back in. Councillors, you've got a whole fresh grid, 16 new clues. It's the beta grid. I'd like you to sort it into four groups of four. Your time starts now. Emerald Jade. Nasty C. We've got greens there. Green. This is got P olive. Emerald Jade. Try that then. Jade, we've got moss no. maybe. Grape? Lime, emerald, olive. Yeah. Okay. Not a group. Yes. Oh. Okay. It's all right. Not seeing any yet. No. OK. What are we looking at, then? Lots of names of people as well. Yeah, lots of names of people. Yes. Russell. Warner, Wright, Moss. Um, no. Not a group. No. It's not coming. No. You're halfway through the time. Is there something to do with uh, that cow on the pussy cow or something? P, C? I don't know. Well, the cow, where does he have? P, 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 Emerald. P, which would be P, C, Emerald and... Would it be Jade? Straw? No. P, C, Straw? No. no. Could be time to start lime jabbing green boat, wildly. Green, lime green boat. They went on lime green boat. Yes. Who's P? Oh. P C. No. No. Okay, to move all No. Jade olive emerald. No. Wedding anniversaries. Oh, right, yes. Uh, no, not even those. No. P, C. Um. Time is ticking down. No, yeah. No. No. You're out of time. It's an unprecedented turn of events for Only oh. Connect. For the first time, no groups got. But take heart. You can still get four bonus points if you tell me what the connections are. So let's resolve the grid. That pesky grid is solved at last. OK, bonus points available. First group. Well, it sounds phonetic to me. Yes, they're all they're letters phonetically. Words okay. that sound like letters of the alphabet. One point. Next group, Russell, Straw, Frost, D. They're all jokes. Oh, yeah. now. Now yeah. it's so yeah. easy, yeah. isn't it? So that's another bonus point. What about the third group? The greens. But they are greens. greens. Is there something else? I think they're just greens. I know. Those are the greens. You knew there were yeah. greens there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Away and, Couldn't yeah. find them. Yeah. And the last group, Warner, Brothers. Wright, Brothers. Chemical, Moss. Brothers. 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 Once yeah. we solve it for you, it's simple. Yes. Yep. So, for telling me the connections between the groups, you do pick up a much-needed four points. Let's see how that leaves the overall scores at the end of round three. County councillors are on eight points, but the science writers have got ten points. It can all change now, though, because it's the quick-fire round four, the missing vowels round. 
This is where we take collections of well-known names or phrases, remove the vowels and then re-space the consonants to see if the teams can decipher what the names or phrases are. They'll come in connected groups of four, but I'll tell the teams up front what the connections are. Now, teams, where before you had to buzz in and get one point for a correct answer and it would be thrown over for a bonus if you were wrong, this time, if you're wrong, you forfeit a point. So your scores could tumble. Investments may go down as well as up. Your first group is coming up, and I can tell you that they are all star constellations. <laughs> Councillors. Andromeda. Correct, one point. You're not getting it. The answer's Eridanus. Next clue. Councillors. Ursa Minor. Correct, one point. Science writers. Orion. Correct, one point. The new group is Gospel Quotations. Science writers. I am the bread of life. Correct, one point. Too long. Just in time, science writers. He that is without... I'm going to stop you there. You lose one point. Councillors, possible bonus. Too long. He that is not with me is against me. Next clue. You heathens. The answer is I am the resurrection and the life. Next clue. I shall not live by bread alone. Correct. One point. Next group, restoration comedies. <laughs> Councillors. The country wife. Correct. One point. <laughs> Writers. Love for love. Yes, it is. One point. <laughs> Writers. The way of the world. It is. One point. Too long, I can tell you it is the man of mode. Next group, poker terms. <coughs> Councillor. Do the button. It is one point. <coughs> Next Oh no, the time is up. And amazingly, in our first quarter final, the county councillors have got 13 points. The science writers have got 13 points. Oh, no. It's <laughs> a tiebreaker. <laughs> now, oh, this God. is how it works. One clue is going to come up. I will not tell you the theme. Captains, I want your fingers on the buzzers. If you get the answer right, you win the quiz. If you get the answer wrong, you forfeit the quiz immediately. The crucial clue is coming up now. Writers. To the victor, the spoils? Yes, it is. And to your team go the spoils. 14 points. Congratulations to you at the end there, science writers. Terrible bad luck to you, <laughs> councillors, when that was supposed to be such a strong round for you. I hope you'll join us next time for more contestants to be tortured on the rack of quarter-final action. Goodbye. Don't take those thinking caps off just yet. Don Manley is showing us how to solve a cryptic crossword next. And then the thought-provoking and challenging continues with Storyville. Kimberly Reed's celebrated film Prodigal Sons is here on BBC Four at 10. <laughs> And welcome to Only Connect, the quiz that tests not just knowledge, but more importantly, lateral thinking. That ability to switch lanes suddenly in the middle of a mental journey, without ploughing into a milk float and scattering yoghurt all over the tarmac of logic. We're entering the quarterfinal stages, which means not just that things get tougher, but that it isn't a problem for the teams because they're fresh from victory in their heats. 
Let's meet those triumphant returning visitors. We are joined tonight by the county councillors and the science writers. Let's say hello first to the captain of the county councillors. I'm Gareth Aubrey. I'm a councillor for the Landaff Ward in the great city of Cardiff. With me today are Gwilym. I'm Gwilym Owen. I'm uh, a prospective councillor in, here in Cardiff. And John. I'm John Dixon. I'm a county councillor in Adamsdown in Cardiff and I'm in charge of social services. Now, you may be feeling comfortable after your earlier victory, but it's the quarterfinals. Things will be stricter, they'll be tougher, and I certainly will be nastier. Mm. Are you comfortable in that environment or, or dreading it? Mm. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to show any fear with another team ten feet away over there. Yeah. Well, good luck tonight. Let's go and meet the opponents you'll be facing, saying hello to the captain of the Science Writers. I'm Chrissy, a science writer originally from Kent, now living in Surrey. Uh, this is Pete. Pete, I'm also a science writer and editor, and I live in Leighton in East London. And this is Aaron. I'm Aaron. I'm a science writer originally from the Isle of Wight. And how have you been preparing for the quarters? Have you been living and breathing Wikipedia? Are you sleeping under copies of Prospect magazine? Pretty much nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no preparation at all? L lateral preparation. <laughs> <laughs> BBC Four through the night, that's my best tip. <laughs> Only one of these teams can go through to the semi-finals. Who will it be? Let's kick off with round one. This is where the teams need to tell me the connection between four clues. But the fewer clues they need to see before giving me the correct answer, the more points they'll get. Five, three, two and one are the points available. County councillors, you won the toss, so please select a Greek letter. I think we'll take Zeta, please. Zeta, your first clue is coming up. And I think this is going to be a music round, so you'll be hearing the first clue and shouting next whenever you're ready to hear the next one. Good luck. Your time starts now. Next. When you walk into the um, don't tell our heaven's place on Earth. No idea what connection would be. Uh, next. Next. Five seconds. Yeah. Uh, songs about heaven or air or the sky. <laughs> no, it's not very, not very good. <laughs> you collapsed in the middle there. I'm not going to accept that answer. So the opportunity is there for a bonus point for the science writers. Okay, just so songs about heaven. You're both so close. I'm afraid I'm not going to give the points, but, Gareth, do you want to tell me what the pieces of music were? Well, the, the obvious one was uh, Heaven is a Place on Earth by the lovely Belinda Carlisle. Uh, and there on a G-string was in there. Of course, the piece that launched a thousand tabloid puns. Do you know its real title? Orchestral <laughs> Suite Number 3 in D. But that doesn't sound so good under a photograph of Jordan. <laughs> and the other pieces? No. Oh, no. I don't think we had any. No. Handel's Water Music. And the magic uh, bio music yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah. Wagner's yeah. Valkyrie. Oh, they are pieces that, whose title contain the four elements. Close, but no cigar. Yeah. So, science writers. Alpha, please. Alpha, first clue coming up. Time starts now. Okay, from yeah. Next. Yeah. Curtain. Yeah. Next. Um, okay. What that is. Do you know what that is? No. At all? Well, what's no, curtain? Curtain sounds strange. Oh. Um. Don't want next. We'll have to. Next. Yeah. Um, are they filmed? Psycho has been remade, hasn't it? Recently, have they all been remade. They've all been remade. Yeah. Yeah. Filmed it. Ten remade. seconds. Shot by shot. Yeah. Um, just guess that. Um, we think they're all films that have recently been remade. I'm afraid. You're not correct. No. So I'm going to throw it over to the county councillors for a bonus. Are they all things where the protagonist died? Keep Specifically, talking. possibly detectives? That's it. Yes. They are stories in which the detective dies. Can you tell me any more detail? Well, the remorseful day is Morse dies. But the blue lamp, Dixon. I was guessing the Dixon Dot Green. Quite right. Went. Psycho, obviously. Milton Arbogast yeah. is the name of the detective who dies yeah. there, and Curtain spells doom for the lovely Inspector Poirot. Ah. One bonus point to you, well done, and you get to choose your own Greek letter. Gamma, please. Gamma, first clue coming up. Time starts now. No. Uh, next. 
not their real names. Yeah, but small names, order, but more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next. I mean, that was. That, I'm not sure that was his name. I can't just assume it is. No, I can't. No. Last one? Yeah. Yep, next. Um, yeah. Ten seconds. Um, so we need to do this by something because... Yeah, yeah. I remember Casanova wasn't part of yeah. We think they're all pseudonyms or names they gave themselves. That is not the right answer. <laughs> so I'm going to throw it over to the science writers for a bonus. Oh. Uh, were they all involved in intelligence? What's the other connection? Well, Graham Greene wrote the Ministry That's of That's enough conferring. What's your answer? <laughs> they were all... A... I'm sorry, you've hesitated too long, and it's a tragedy. I did warn you the quarterfinals yeah. were tough. You practically said it, but didn't give it as an answer. They all worked as spies. Mm. No points there. Science writers, time to select a Greek letter. Epsilon, please. Epsilon, first clue coming up. Time starts now. Next. We're looking for an actor or something like, like a that. cameo. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I Next. haven't seen either of those films. Oh, oh, is it people playing that, themselves? Yeah, that could be could be yeah, because oh, Nick well, Nick call me might have been in it. I don't know. Um, next, Anthony Mikey Forrester. Yeah, it's the author because um, Irvin Welsh was Mikey Forrester so in Train Spotting. So it's the seconds. authors of the book. Of it's the having book. a cameo. Yeah. Um, we think it's the authors of the books having cameos. In films. So. Absolutely correct. I heard you say that Irvin Welsh was a guest on Train Spotting. Right. Want to have a go at the others? Um, well, it must be Nick Hornby for Fever Pitch. Um, I don't know who wrote the other two. Um, JG Ballard, Empire of the Sun. And Stephen King wrote Sleepwalkers. Yeah. Right. They are all characters played in films by the authors of the original books. One point to you. County Councillors, your turn. I think I'll have Peter, please. First clue coming up, and I can tell you this is going to be a picture question. Is it here? Looks like it. Next. Okay. They might all be things that are extinct or were thought to be extinct. Yeah. Uh, next. That's, that's a lace, that's a neck curtain or something. Yeah. Very strange. No idea. Can I? No. Next. Chris Kelly, is it? Yeah, so she's the obvious one, so... Ten seconds. Yeah. Three seconds. 